This time we're going to learn how to format our USB stick uh, from the command line. Because if you have a uh, you know GUI file manager here, some of the lighter ones, they don't actually have a way to... You know like in Windows where you can right click on it and it says format. They don't have that motherfucker on here. So how you get around that is usually you can use you know Gparted to, uh, to do that. But Gparted is kind of big. So we're going to use just the command line to do this. It's really not that hard. Maybe the first time is hard, but after you get used to it, it's really easy. Okay. Um, so the first important part here is to figure out your device letter, okay, or the location of it. And don't fuck this up because if you mess this one up, you know, you delete all your porn and you need that sucker. Okay. So make sure you type in sudo fdisk-l and then you run this sucker here. And you figured out, you know, which device it is because you have uh, in here they show you all your hard drives and USB sticks that it's on uh, your system or it's hooked up to your system. So you can see I have different hard drives here. Like this one is a, you know, one terabyte. Uh, this one's um, 50, oh, 500 gigs here. And this one's 60, 60 gigs. So the bottom one here, this one is only about four gigs here. And this one is my USB stick. So this one I use our, for example, and um, the important part here is either figure out your dev uh, SDE, right? So this is the, the letter here, SDE. Sometimes you need to know the volume too, like, um, you know, SDB1. Sometimes they give you a one or two or three or whatever it is. Uh, for this one, we don't really need that. We can just uh, format the whole drive and uh, we don't need any numbers, okay? But um, sometimes you need to do that. Anyways, to get to the point, uh, just make sure you remember this sucker because if you use this and it'll wipe out all your porn, you don't want to do that, okay? So let's do this here. Now, as far as the second thing is, you have to figure out, you know, which uh, file systems you want to format it to. Like uh, there's FAT, there's NTFS, there's, you know, EXT234 and all that. So I want to use this thing called MKFS. And MKFS is make file systems basically. So you do, MK, let me show you what it is here, MKFS. So this one is to build a Linux file system. Well, you can do Windows too. Uh, I think the Windows one is used something else, but uh, this one is for Linux file systems. And so, how do you use this here? So you do sudo, um, we do MKFS and we do dot and then actually you just push tab and they give you some different options here. So you can see that these are all the uh, file systems you can use. So ext2, 3, and 4, these are the ones just for Linux. Um, or yeah, just Linux and the fat one here. These three, I don't know why they have three, but they're actually all the same thing because they're sim linked to each other. Um, so you can use any of these and they're all the same thing. Okay, it's a shortcut for uh, different ones. But when you use FAT, because that's usually what people use on a USB stick, so it can be universal. So we do FAT, and we want a, um, or if you want to do like FAT 16, 12, or 32, you can actually do dash F, and you type in 32. Uh, for this one, we don't really need to do that, so we're just going to do, uh, give it a label, a name of it. So we do a dash N for giving it a name, and we'll call this one, let's just call it by my name here, right? And that's it. And now we want to give it our uh, device that we want to, uh, you know, write it to. We do dev sde, and that's pretty much it, right? Oh, okay. So if you have this warning, it says uh, it's mounted because we mounted earlier. So let's open our uh, file manager again and make sure you unmount it, right? And there we go. Let's do this sucker. What is this one here? Oh, okay, so now we want to override this, so we're going to use this uh, dash capital I here, like they, you know, want us to do override. Uh, so that should fix it now. And there you go, that's it, we're done. And you see that now our label has changed to my name here. And you can click on it, and it'll mount it, and then you can, you know, create a folder, and empty file, whatever it is. Uh, and that's how you would format it. Uh, from the command line and that one's for fat let's say we try another one another uh, you know file system here 
So this time I'm going to do, let's say, ext2. And ext2 is a little bit different, but we'll say sudo mkfs uh, ext2 here. And we're going to give it a label. In here is not a dash n that we did before. That one's for fat only. If you want to do a label in here, it's just dash uh, l. And this time we'll call this uh, hell yeah, right? Something like that. Uh, and then the drive that we want is dev sde. And that's pretty much it, I believe. And I'll give you a warning like, uh, is this, um, was it sde is the entire device, not just one partition? You want to proceed anyway? Yes, we want to push Y here. Uh, oh shit, I gotta unmount this first. Unmount it. And then let's do that again here. Proceed, yes. And now let's let it do its thing. Might take a few seconds. Um, <clears throat> what is this here? Two out of 29. Hurry the fuck up, man. Let's see here. So I don't know how long this will take, but uh, we'll wait here. Hopefully it's not too long. Four. God. Oh, there you go. It's done. Okay, there you go. It's done. Um, so that's it for that. And now you see it changes the names to hell yeah. Let's say we mount this. It's all empty and shit. Let's say, what the fuck? Can't create a folder. Oh, you have to give it uh, rice permission because it's now it's using a Linux file system. So how do we do that here? Since this one is using Thunar, we're going to do sudo Thunar. Right. And where is this one mounted to? Run media. Hell oh, yeah. Okay, we'll copy that. And we'll paste in here. So this one is the normal user and this one is the root user. Okay, so you can see there's a difference. Uh, I'll give you a warning here. This one says root account, basically your admin. So we paste this sucker in here. We go to that place. And let's say we go back one folder. And now this is our folder. So we want to right click on this and go to properties and go to permissions. And here we want to say instead of read only because right here this is only read only that's why you can't do any shit in here. So we want to do read and write and yes read and write yes and as far as the group here I forgot what it was it's either users or wheels let me check here all right let me see here um cat c groups and what is it called so users that's not it so it doesn't have your name on here so it has to be wheel where's the wheel there you go so wheel the wheels group has the root user and the normal user which is just my uh username here so when you say wheels where the fuck is wheel where the cancel wheels Fuck you at. There you go at the bottom, fucking asshole. There you go, and now you set that group there, and then you close it, and you don't have to do that once because now it's set. It'll give you permission recursively, so you can close out your root, and now let's say we uh, unmount it here and then mount it again, and now we can actually uh, you know create a folder, create. Uh, you know, empty file. Let's say we edit with leafpad, type something in there, save it. Ta da, we saved it. So that's how you gave it permissions if you didn't have permissions before. Uh, just make sure you do it in root first and then you give it uh, recursive permissions and you only have to do that once, um, hopefully. Uh, so that's it for that. Either formatting to what was that, the uh, fat file systems or ext2 or ext3 or 4 whatever other ones it's up to you 
uh, from the command line. Not that hard. Looks hard because of this video, but uh, if you try like one or two times, you'll get it real quick. Not that, not that difficult. That'll be it for this one.